Hello guys, here's Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Sometimes the simplest things are the best, so I decided to create a minimalistic wallpaper like this. To create this I use only a basic method and I really like this design so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. At first at first I use some random photo to create my background. For example this. And make it blurry. I like to create my background from from image because it gives you interesting effects sometimes. And for me it's better than using, for example, gradient. Now I create now I create new layer and add a color, for example, this pink. Duplicate my background. Drag it up. And in blending mode for the layers I change it for soft light. For soft light or overlay, whatever you prefer. Overlay look better. And now using shapes uh, I create some some effects. Click pen tool and select shape here. And create some random shape. For example, something like this. And then go to filter and click liquify. And here you can manipulate your shape using forward warp tool and using huge brush size. Okay. I think it looks uh, not bad. So now click right on this layer and go to blending options. Change fill opacity to zero. Go to inner shadow and add some some shadow, of course. You can change Opacity. Okay. And now, of course, we can manipulate our shape, for example, using free transform. And of course you can duplicate this layer. And using free transform change the position. For example, like this. Of course, you can duplicate it more. Not sure what looks better, but it's not the point. 
Of course, you can add more effect to your background. For example, create new layer uh, above your background. And fill it with a uh, color and and change fill to zero. Then go to FX and go to pattern overlay. And as you see, you can use some some pattern to create um interesting background of course you can create your own pattern i show you how to do this for example create new i said 12 for width and head And using pencil tool, I create some some random pattern. And when you create this, click Edit and the Fin Pattern and OK. Now you can change our pattern. It's us. And it looks something like this. Also interesting, I think. And at the end, of course, as always, you can add some text. Well, I decided to change it a little, so something like this, and I think it looks better. And okay, I think it's all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this basic tutorial. As I said at the beginning, sometimes the simplest thing can be can be great. I'm huge fan of simple things. Uh, I like minimalism, so maybe that's why I like this design. And thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment if you want if you want to tell me something or ask. And to the next, thank you.